this week we're trying to reach as many kids as possible to let them know they need to think twice before they text and drive. We've been telling them since they were little, you know, drinking and driving is bad. Well, driving and texting and being on the phone is bad too. We'll have one student step in the car and we'll have him slip on a headset and in that headset he will see a virtual road map that he has to navigate using the actual gas, brake and steering and throughout that process we have them also pull out their phone and text while trying to navigate that road map. I didn't realize how much you look down and you impair your vision that way. It was hard. I couldn't um, go past like two lines without crashing. This needs to be a program that can be used in every classroom, even going down to the little kids. Anyone can see a video and just like be like, oh, that'll never happen to me. But when you actually try it out, you realize it can happen to anyone. Just to be hands on with it and all, I was able to like see how everything, how it actually plays out. It wasn't just like saying, oh, this happened to so-and-so. It was like, wow, that was actually me. If any of you were like me when I was in your position, you might think to yourself, well, that can't happen to me. It's not going to happen to my friends, to my family. But let me tell you something, it can. We, we see it every day. And we hope that um, this resonates with the student body and that hopefully they will encourage um, their classmates, uh, friends, and family to avoid uh, distracted driving and to stay away from texting while driving. First, our appreciation to both Rune Ziffer and Gary Yeomans for considering us and bringing this opportunity to our kids. It's not heavy traffic. I'll take my phone out and send a quick text and stuff, but after doing this, I'm definitely going to be like a lot more careful. When you're in a car accident, for real, you don't get a second chance. People checking Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff, it's, it's not worth it. Most teenagers would tell you many times their traditional classrooms are boring, but they also will tell you that the best learning experiences are authentic, hands-on, vision, and uh, actionary, so to speak. This is their generation. Yeah, I'll be honest, sometimes I text and drive. Probably won't do it anymore because if like someone got hurt, that's a lot to have on your plate. As I'm looking up, I see I'm already I'm flying straight into another car and you have absolutely no time to react. I'd rather not risk my life and someone else's life. I'd feel terrible if I took someone's life away from texting and driving. I um, did a simulator on texting and driving and I hit a car. I'm not going to text and drive. I was trying to drive and text at the same time, but I would get too focused on one thing. It was pretty hard texting and driving and I crashed. The students watching or waiting their turn can also see what the students are looking at and some of the choices that they're making. You certainly hear the idea that if we impact one student in a positive way based on this and we've done our job, something tells me we'll impact a lot more 